the resolution plan will now be binding on central st um, and the state governments and local authorities uh, for any uh, statutory dues as well. Uh, what had what has really prompted this sort of clarification and uh, do now tax dues waivers get built into the re resolution plans and uh, how does that work now i think they've always attempted to and i think uh, in some cases it went through the ability to cram down government dues as operational debt i think in some cases some government authorities fought it um, on the basis that it wasn't so clear to them um, and I think this is effectively clarifying that, that no, actually, you are also bound, whether you're state, central, local, your dues are debt which can be crammed down. So I think this is welcome because it's easier to point out and say, no, here's where your name is mentioned, sir. Okay. So, Deepna, we were uh, chatting on this offline that let's say there is an outstanding tax uh, amount against the corporate debtor and the, let's say there is an uh, indirect tax claim from the GST office and uh, the GST office doesn't even submit it as a claim or as an operational due. How do resolution applicants then build, build that sort of amount into their plans or do, need, do they need to now go have independent conversations and get tax guys on the table uh, and is that an exercise now applicants will have to do? The position is quite different when you look at an operational creditor and tax dues. The first thing you need to be very clear about is the objects in this, in this code. They are very consciously reasserting the fact that crown dues will come far lower in the priority. Right? Now, operational creditors, on the other hand, as a matter of strategy, uh, they could sit back and not offer the claim at all. They would wait until the company popped out of the CIRP process. And uh, we don't have a standstill period after the company is refreshed. And at that stage, if you file a claim, and you'll notice that the NCLAD judgment in this matter was right. They told Gail that, hey, you can go after the resolution plan is put into effect and, and then uh, raise a claim. Now, by implication, people would think, because crown dues are equated with that of the operational creditor, that state taxing authorities or the tax authorities in the country would have the same right. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a big problem with that because if you look at it historically, uh, if you look at the winding up processes under the Companies Act, the pecking order was mutilated by enormous number of government liens, state government liens, all supervening over the secured creditor. Now, this is an attempt, again, to tell people that crown dues will still rank as a lower priority. Can the tax authorities go and file another claim after the resolution plan has been put in place? I think after this sort of a pronouncement, and it will be binding expressly, sorry, uh, on the state and uh, the union tax authorities, uh, is the government telling the tax authorities that uh, you may not have the same claim an operational creditor has? And whether the resolution applicant must now go and uh, seek approval is a question of what you've thought in terms of deferment or uh, remission in the tax in your resolution plan. That, that's how I think it's going to pan no, out. But there could be in Elang cases where the company has been contesting that claim. It's not even admitting that that uh, outstanding due, um, uh, you know, is of that's the a amount. Ball game. We're talking about contingent liabilities there. Okay. I don't think that's sought to be addressed very cleanly over here at least. No, I don't think so either. Because the moratorium is just a blank period and then the claim will just come back in the courts so again. that will revive? That will stay there. Or it will so automatically revive. No, so then it's, is it not in my best interest to say, yeah, yeah, tax authority, you are right. But hey, look, now we are building into the plan that uh, you can't get anything. I don't owe you any money anyway. Are you, uh, yeah, I don't owe you I money admit anyway. everything you say, but, but I'm going sorry. to pay nothing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah? Yes. That's yeah. the strategy.